Welcome YouTube, this is Wolf39US with a quick tutorial on what to do should you have a unlocked iPhone 3G or 3GS running on 3.1.2 software and you need to restore your phone. If your phone's bricked, if there's some software problem going on, or if something that's making your phone incapable to be used, and this is uh, actually, you can use this as a last resort if you absolutely have to. Um, <coughs> you're going to need to download a custom firmware so now now keep keep in mind your phone is still in 312 it's still an unlock this is not if you've already downloaded 3.1.3 it's too late you've already upgraded your your modem firmware and there's nothing you can do unfortunately you're going to have to wait there is a uh, site here I like my iPhone.com I will post the information in the description box um, <coughs> just go ahead and point your browser to this website scroll down a little bit and you'll see the links there are the activated versions for those of you who do not have an AT&T SIM card uh, and there's the not activated version for those of you that do have an, an AT&T SIM card lying around and you'd like to activate it officially through iTunes now when you click on the link you're gonna get a rapid share uh, most people don't have premium for this I happen to have a premium but you just go ahead and click on free user wait for the timer to go through download the file and then you'll need to go back to the web to the web page and download the second part you're going to get files that are with the extension point zero zero one and point zero zero two you're gonna need a program called HJ split which is right here go to the website I will go ahead and post that also in the description bar uh, and you're going to click on join and then point your browser to the file and you will get an IPSW here's the activated version here's the not activated version I happen to have an AT&T SIM card so I did did go with a not activated version <coughs> now after you have your file, you're going to need to take your phone in the off state, hold the home button, and then plug the phone into your computer. Your phone will show the Apple logo, and after about 10 to 15 seconds, you're going to see the iTunes recovery screen. It's going to show up here and tell you that the phone is in recovery mode. You're going to hold shift, and then you're going to hit restore and you're going to browse for the IPSW that you need to use. Double click on it and it will bring up the normal iTunes process. When your phone is completely restored you will you will notice that in the settings and general and about you will notice that your modem firmware has not changed. It will stay in the state that it was before, which was either 4.4.2.26 or 5.11.07, and your phone will still be hackable. Now, there is one little different thing with 3.1.3 and Black Snow, if that's what you were using originally to unlock your phone. There has been an argument change in 3.1.3 that changes the way Black Snow works. If you try to install Black Snow normally, your phone will crash and it will go into an infinite loop and you will be stuck and you will need to restore again. I learned the, hardware and I, the hard way and I had to restore my phone like six times. Um, so don't do that. You're going to need to go to Cydia, load up Cydia. That's assuming you've already done your spirit jailbreak, if it's not jailbroken. If your phone was jailbroken, it should have stayed jailbroken. If it did not, go ahead and download spirit. Windows or Mac OS, I don't care. Um, jailbreak your phone and then let's continue. Black Snow. You're going to need to put in a special source. Uh, which is http colon slash slash cydia dot push fix dot info right here I will go ahead and put that in the description box as well uh, you're going to look for the only program on there which is black snow rc2 you have to use this uh, download black snow rc2 put in your t-mobile sim if you haven't already and it should be 
perfectly fine. Now if you used the activated version of the IPSW, you're going to notice that your push notifications are not working. Uh, or you're very lucky and they are working for whatever reason. This is another program you'll need to get. It is called Push Doctor. It worked wonders for me. Put this source in, cmdshft.ipone.me uh, slash apt. Uh, this worked perfectly. Put it in, you'll get the program called Push Doctor right here, and then your push notifications will work again, and you can have at it. Have fun with your phone. Your phone will now work. And I believe that is everything. Yep, um, do that. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment, and I will try to get back to them as, as best as I can. And uh, good luck on your iTunes recovery.